Ultimate Filmer here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at how to enhance your video and we're going to start with um, color because first of all when you're seeing a video or an image that's kind of what you're seeing is color in the video or the image. So now we're going to hop right into Power Director and see what we can do with the clips I've taken. Okay so now that we're in Power Director select your clip that you want to color grade and then click on Fix Enhance. This is where you find all the color tools in this Enhance part here. So we can just click here and we're going to change some stuff. So let's start with, there's nothing really to change here for the exposure or the brightness. So we're going to start with contrast. Maybe we could bring this up a little bit. Do not change the hue, obviously. So now for the saturation, the vibrancy is the same thing, but I'm going to leave it. Now this is just going to heal some of the highlights, which are the bright areas, and reduce them to a bit darker. This is just shadow, so we'll get rid of all your shadows, which is not really good. And the sharpness we can bring up a little bit. Now for the white balance, here's the color temperature. Put this more towards a warm color. I'm going to leave it there. Then you can have a tint of like purple or a green. I'm going to put a slight purple just to bring out the branches a little bit. And if you do have color director, you can just right click on the clip and then go edit video image and edit in color director. Which basically just means you have more options towards color grade. So now if you have some really shaky or handheld camera movements, I'm gonna show you how to fix them right inside of power director. Okay, so now that we're back in power director, once again, you're gonna wanna click on fix enhance. Then you can see here, there is up here video stabilizer. Just click the check mark. And then you can adjust the amount of stabilization you want. Sorry, stabilization. You can also fix the rotational camera shake. As you can see, while I've been doing this, I don't know if you noticed, but it's been cropping in ever so slightly on the image. Especially if I increase this more, it's going to crop in more. Which is also bad because you lose a lot of video quality. So we can leave it just around there, maybe. Then your video should look a lot better. This is definitely great if you're stuck in a situation where you only can use your hands and you didn't bring a tripod or anything. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to request a tutorial. Just leave a comment and say what you think. I should make a tutorial on next. Bye.